let's talk about governance policies and harness future flags. Now, a question we get all the time is, I understand the value future flags bring to my team, but how do I make sure once we adopt them in production at scale, my teams actually follow the best practices and that we don't end up with a hard to govern sort of wild west situation in our future flag projects. And that's exactly where governance policies fit in. So if I take a look at this future flag project in project settings, go down to the bottom and you'll see policies. Now, if we jump into policies, this uses an open source project called the Open Policy Agent, or OPA for short, which uses a scripting language called Rego to allow you to build policies that will be enforced anytime flags are changed. You'll see here some example stats. And if we jump in, we'll see a couple actual policies. So this one is feature must be released in test before being enabled in prod. This is a great example of a policy because you don't want people to accidentally turn flags on in production if that flag hasn't already been enabled in a lower environment. And you'll see this is an example of the Rego scripting. You'll find a lot more about this in our documentation. If we jump over to library, you'll actually see a whole lot of sample policies. And if we go down to feature flags, you'll see sample policies to do things like enforcing naming conventions or saying you can only use Boolean flags. We've got customers that do things like you can't toggle feature flags after 5 p.m. on Friday until 9 a.m. on Monday to make sure nobody does anything risky over the weekend, right? We call that a service change window policy. Essentially, all the metadata in the system gets exposed to this policy agent, and then you can write any scripts against any metadata you want to decide when flags can or cannot be governed. And at Harness, you can do this entirely within feature flags, but you can also do this across the entire CI, CD, and feature flag lifecycle if you want. Let me give you a quick example of how this looks in practice. So this policy says the feature must be released in test before being enabled in prod. I'll go back here. I'm in my production environment. And if I go to toggle this flag, you'll see what happens is now I have a policy violation. When I configure the policy, I can configure should it just warn or should it fail. In this case, we're going to fail. We're going to say you can't turn this flag on in production because it hasn't actually been enabled on your lower environments first, and there is no getting around this. So governance policies are a great way to enforce best practices and to put your future flag usage on safe guardrails. Of course, you can always go to developer.harness.io to get more information on how to use policies.